did. And how is it we became American? And on Christmas Day, 1776, Washington's army had collapsed from 30,000 Brooklyn in September to 2,500. Less than one out of every thousand Americans had the courage to be with Washington on Christmas Day. Of that 2,500, one-third did not have boots. They wrapped their feet in burlap and they left a trail of blood marching the nine miles to Trenton. Washington decided to cross an icy river at night in a snowstorm, to march at night to surprise 800 professional German soldiers, win a surprise victory, capture all 800, and reestablish the legitimacy of the revolution. Two weeks later, he had 15,000 volunteers. The password that night was victory or death. I want you to go from here after this weekend and look every successful person you know in the eye and look every patriot you know in the eye and tell them there are young men and women risking their lives all around this planet in uniform, in the State Department, in the intelligence community, so we can be free. Don't tell me how much you've given. Don't tell me how tired you are. Don't tell me how frustrating it is. This country was created by people who are willing to say victory or death while marching in burlap bags in the middle of a snowstorm. We're going to have to find those people again. We're going to have to run people for 513,000 offices in both parties. We're going to have to isolate and crush the secular socialist left, and we're going to have to replace their failed system with systems that succeed. This is work George Washington would have approved of. And this is work you need to take seriously for the next three years so we can give our children and grandchildren the greatest, freest, and most prosperous country in history. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>